be a pussy dead. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl MJ back to you with another video. For all my new subbies, welcome. For my old subscribers, you know the vibes, you know the dealio. Like the description says, I'm gonna be describing how I got fired, rehired, and I quit all in one day. Before we get into this video, I got hired to work as an accountant at a security company on the 13th of December, 2022. So, you know, I was excited. I was so happy that I finally got a job and I was like, finally out of the house. Cause yo, yo, I got tired of being a maid. I got tired of being a maid. I got tired of it all. Like, you know, oh, squats in here. I got tired of all of it, you know? So I got this job. And in the first trimester of the job, like the first two weeks, I was happy, but get it. This is where the story begins. So the day I was being hired, I was told I was going to be on probation for the first two weeks. I was going to be observed and being taught the system. Oh, I don't know what's in my eye. Yeah, and being taught the system. So I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. I was not given any contract sign, any letter to sign because I was on probation. So I started working. And the place was really close to home. So I would go there and like the first week I wasn't really doing much. So I used to get bored. I would doze off, I would sleep. So the following week they started giving me like work to do and I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And first off, these small companies, security companies, what their accounting system is so outdated. Like it's so outdated. Like <laughs> if you want to go learn, you will not learn anything because let me tell you what I was doing. I used to count money for guards. So first of all, we'll create a schedule. Someone will go with an ATM card to withdraw that money from the bank. We say 25,000, it just dropped on my desk. I start counting that money and start putting the money in the envelope. So no one has a bank account. Everyone is paid in, in hand, which is a bad thing because it means the risk of fraudulent behavior for those who've done accounting is very high people will steal and the director or the boss wouldn't even know because she didn't even she didn't even know the liquidity of her company even if so people would steal or the the risk of theft is high because it's, it's going to be difficult to be detected because nothing is automated everything is done manually so yeah as I was saying, so yeah, they would drop money on my desk. I uh, think county, put it in some envelopes, give them to supervisors. Supervisors, these are the people who go and check up on the guards or see if the guard is there on time, if he's drunk, if he's sleeping. Oh, sorry, guys, I feel so hot. So yeah, that was my job practically. So this woman wanted me to be the secretary slash accountant slash whenever she can't reach my workmates i'm the one who's supposed to call them and tell them oh she wants to message you and everything she was just not your normal professional boss boss you know what i mean like yeah i feel like that's the nicest way i can say it without like insulting her or anything like gee you know so two weeks passes and i remind her like oh, oh you said we would like talk about um we would talk about my pay and everything and she said oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, i don't like how you're working i'm like oh okay i hear you sis and she's like i don't like how you're working and so your probation has been pushed to one month and i'm like oh, okay and mind you we used to go eight knock off 17. i kid you not i used to knock off past 17 sometimes 19 goes to 20 and that's overtime right but such companies even overtime they don't give they don't give so yeah i would knock off really late and my parents are wondering it's the same company but they're not even paying you and i'm like no 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 they said after one month we'll sit and we'll discuss and my parents are like okay if you know what you're doing sis if you know what you're doing did i know what i was doing though no so one month yeah oh and every time i wouldn't do like whatever she wants even if it's out of my gd out of my job description 
she would message me saying are you sure you're ready for this job i don't think you're ready for this job and like always harassing me about hey you know, i can fire you or i can and i just used to keep it together like this is my boss you know she can say whatever me i'm just supposed to you know comply and everything so yeah one month comes and before the one month comes eh? so i used to work near my place because the security company was next to my place then there was another the escort company was all the way at the stadium living one of stadium so i used to go there once in a while to go away from there also so then one time she just and i was sick i asked for a sick leave for like a day i left the office at 11 hours so one of my workmates comes to my house and comes to pick me up telling me no uh the boss wants to have a meeting with you so me i thought it's about my salary i said okay sure sure i have I, I hopped into the car and went to go you know hear what this meeting is all about and everything no and she just took me to a liquor store to go and at her liquor store to go and wake like bro i literally told you i'm not well i left the main office that's why it would take me elsewhere to work from 15 to 18 hours back. Bro, one plus one wasn't two. Like, you know what I mean? Like, so then I work there. I come back and the next day I'm taken there again, which was not in our agreement. When we spoke, she told me I'd only work for, um, she told me I'd only work for the security company. And the escort company that's all all these other things that were popping up we were not supposed to be there you know what i mean but she started taking advantage of me and i never used to say anything but my parents used to get upset like oh, why is this happening she's not even paying you and all of that stuff so i'm like i knew vibes one month you come and the month elapsed i talked to her again about the salaries she got upset whenever i spoke about oh how much am i getting paid she would always get upset and moody and answer me rudely and everything until one evening at 23 hours i'm on a phone call with my man we're talking you know vibes and whatever and she writes me this message and i'll say hey, hey. what is this now what is this hmm? Hmm? What is this? I'm going to go back to Costa Rica. I'm going back to Costa Rica. Eh? Hey, friends, you just think this job just seem you seem so uninterested. Because I spoke about my salary. She wanted me. She was trying to get me to quit so that she doesn't pay me. Now me. I okay, need my money. <laughs> Billionaire. I needed my chigash. Chopping and spending. The cash. I was like, no, 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 no. I didn't say I'm not interested. I didn't say I don't want to be here. And I just need my money. So my father advised me not to reply to that message at that time. So I replied to it in the morning. I said, okay, I'm not happy with how I'm working and everything. I understand. I really enjoyed working at your company. But by the way, my father is the one who crafted that message because it was me. We were going to fight. You just know when you just want to. And that's what she wanted. She wanted to poke me so that we fight. So I'm making stay with and she stays with and she can go at the office and say, hey, look at what she said to me. Hey, what, what, what. So I told my father, I sent him a screenshot of that message. She wrote me a really bad message. And then my father said, okay, let me, tap, let me write a message for you. Copy and you can do whatever. So I wrote that message. I got it. And that's the one I sent to her. And it was very nice saying, oh, yeah, I love working here, which I didn't. And you know, I've been a very good boss, which she wasn't and uh yeah i just want what to do to me which was my salary <laughs> which is my salary <laughs> because <laughs> yeah and she tells me okay um 10 30 i'm coming and you should give me the keys you should hand over the keys and we'll give you the salary and i'm just like okay it's okay it's okay it's okay, it's okay. So me having packed up my katsundus when I went to the office that morning after the night of her writing me that nasty message. I went in the morning, I spoke to my other boss, I had two, a man, a canoe and the same woman. So I packed my stuff and I was ready to give her the keys, get my money, oja, dip. And she comes bro, and she's behaving like she, one hour ago she didn't fire me. And so I pick up your get your bag, get your notepad, and why did she take me? 
Where did you take me, Oya? She took me to the liquor store again. Hmm? If it's the same stuff that I ate last night, forget it. Why are you taking me there? You just fired me. I want my money. I want to go. I want to leave for Costa Rica. Why are you? You know what I'm saying? So then we go to the liquor store and me, all I want is us to talk about her firing me and the whole drive to the liquor store she's just talking about other things you know in the security company is not easy i'm like <laughs> and the back of my head, i'm like i don't care ma'am ma'am i want my money ma'am <laughs> i want my money i want my money i want my money so then i i dropped off to the liquor store then i worked there for like i think three to four hours then i was taken back to the main office then I spoke to my boss again, the man, I'm like, I am not understanding, she fired me, and now she's behaving like she didn't fire me, can you call her, talk to her, and get the gist of what's actually going on here? And then he said, oh no, she said it was just a misunderstanding. She wrote me a message saying that I will not go further in life because I have attitude. I do have attitude, but when I was working there, I was at my top-notch best behavior, not even playing, not even... I was good to that woman. Even just about the same company, you know what I mean? But then she said, hey, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. And she jumps to me, no, it's just a misunderstanding. She said, you can continue working. And then I tell her, I'm like, okay. Um, just give me my money, <coughs> which they did. And then after that, money just touched my hands. I said, oh yeah, I can't work here anymore. I'm packing my bags and I'm leaving for Costa Rica. I'm leaving. And they tried to sugarcoat the process, keep me there. Okay, no way you can hand over the keys to me. She didn't show up the day and day that go there again the next day. I'm just like, guys, I'm putting my foot down. I don't want to work here anymore. I know jobs are difficult, but that place just wasn't for me. The environment, her harassment, Ella, she used to harass. And she didn't know how to rap. She didn't know how to talk. Huh? And uh, I think one one day I was just going to snap back because you can't tolerate forever, you know what I mean? And I don't, I wouldn't want to go head and head with my boss like that over things that are trivial. That is how I quit. Oh, I forgot to say Happy New Year. This is the first time we're meeting. Happy New Year, guys. I just really wanted to tell you this story. And so I'm not working for that security company anymore. I left because um, I just couldn't. I just couldn't deal with it anymore. I, I just, I, I couldn't. And I'm starting attachments on Monday. This is, today is what? Today is Friday. Starting attachments on Monday. At least there, I'm going to be learning something like actual accounting. There was nothing I was learning there, honestly. I, I felt like I just went there to play. What did I ever do there? Count money? type in excel like i never really learned any basic accounting at all and just for me to get that salary we had to fight go back and forth and all of that and then it was wanted me to say sorry for leaving sorry for what did i offend anyone how been so sorry did i insult anyone no you I did not you know so yeah Real, this real life thing, this adulting thing is not cutting. <laughs> Actually, miss, not even being a student, I miss being in grade one because it's like when you stay home for too long, they make you a maid. When you go to work, you also become someone else's puppet for how many hours? Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. For nine hours, someone just commanding me, do this, do that, type this, open that, open this window, do this, write this. Ah. I don't know, man, but yeah, that was my story time. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, to tell a friend that we are coily this side. Gla, 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 gla. Yeah, and this is my life right now. I'm doing attachments for free now. I know most people will think the decision I made was stupid, but mm, guys, I was the one who was feeling the pain. No one else was feeling the harassment with me, but I feel like women just can't help each other. Like you can't, we can't empower each other. We can't because we are always in constant imaginary competition with each other, which I feel shouldn't be the case. But anyways, bye. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, 
and subscribe tell a friend to a friend that we are quite really sad i think i already said this but happy new year everyone hope you have new plans so do i i have some big news i've done some good hair things my attachments might be getting married that's cap but yeah thank you for watching